Welcome to Mo Sports Gan and Aquay. We had a great week in sports again in Aquay. We're gonna have some Gan Islander highlights. We're gonna have some curling highlights. Uh, we're gonna have uh, an athlete of the week who trains the same gym as this Gan Aquay High School cheerleader. Could I even hop in the ring? Yeah, Folks, it's gonna be great. But let's first check in with last week's uh, Gan Aquay athlete of the week, Alex Nickel Carnes, who's U18 rep team, is in playoffs. And look at the save he makes here. Uh, look at this as he hugs the post for another save. Great anticipation on this save. And another pad save here. Down three, his team would score. Uh, but the U18 are currently uh, are two and three in their best of a seven playoffs. They played two tonight. Good luck with that playoffs. And now, let's get right to the Gant Islander highlights who are pushing for the playoffs. The Islanders started strong four checking, taking an early one nothing lead. After an Napanee tied it, Gann kept coming. Jeremy Piazza was huge, especially on the penalty kill with outstanding saves like these. After fighting ejections, Gann and Akwe still on the penalty kill. Piazza, more great saves. Look at Piazza throws body to make yet another penalty kill save. This goal makes it 2-1 Gann and Akwe. It feels like you're on the ice with the guys. This save, defending Gananakwe's second 5-on-3 penalty kill, would lead to Gananakwe passing the first player leaving the penalty box for the game-winning goal. Gananakwe would score three more, making the final 7-3, handing Napanee their biggest loss of the season. Let's hear what Jeremy Piazza had to say after the game. Hey Jeremy, great game uh, there. What do you, you really had a, you needed those two points, didn't you? Yeah, after two tough, hard-fought losses uh, the last two days, we had to come out, have a full team effort and get those wins. Uh, good, good call on the team effort. Seven, seven to three. I mean, you sent a message. You think these guys could be possible first-round uh, playoff for you, eh? Yeah. Yeah, we need to work a lot harder if we want to get there. we got to keep playing the way we did tonight, but if we can keep doing that... So, Jeremy, you've been you've been selected player of the game because to, to kill off uh, two five-on-three penalties, you boxed off, you played solid. What can you say about the players in front of you uh, maybe talk about the new addition Ryan Radice how did how'd the guys play there tonight in front of you it's really nice having big D which we do Radice is a great addition he's got some size so they're gonna clear guys out and let me see the box so it's really helpful having another big D back there to help me out awesome listen congratulations on the victory good luck as you approach the playoffs thank you Folks, let's get down to that rink next week. Uh, there's a special game start of 3.30 so people can watch the Gann Islanders and then get to their Super Bowl parties. You know, I've got an idea. The high school students have finished exams. Why not celebrate and come that Gann Islanders hockey game? Do the grade 12s to challenge the grade 11s. See so you can put more in the seats to cheer on those Gann Islanders. It might be fun. Uh, folks, from here, let's go to the next rink. We'll look, check in on curling at the Gann Islanders Curling Club. The temperature on the ice was perfect for this year's hot time in the wintertime fundraising spiel supporting the Humane Society, Food Bank, and Youth Curl in Gananoque. Look at this curl to the button to lie four. In the same and the other skip hits and sticks to limit the damage to one. With hammer, here's a draw to score three. Look at this sweet weight to lie four over here. Curlers can extend their playing careers with modifications like this one. Look and for a double takeout, uh, this team will manage to get one. Team Gan Firefighters uh, knew, had great weight here and will draw to the eight foot. You can always find a Saskatchewan Rough Rider fan in every crowd, even curling. Look at this great hit and stick. Great focus from the hack all day long from these Gan curlers. Folks, this was a clean sweep for charity. Uh, the uh, Gan curlers negotiated ice conditions all day. This bond spiel was a true hit. Folks, great stuff happened down at the curling rink. There's stuff for uh, people of all ages, uh, right from five years old right up to, you know, retired folks. Great club to join. You should get down there. And folks, now let's go to the boxing ring for this week's Gan Athlete of the Week. Will I get in the ring? You'll find out. Today, folks, I'm live on location with Adam. Well, Adam, thanks for being here. Yeah, no worries. So, Adam, we get started in boxing. What is it? get started, and uh, what got you to box? So, I started when I was about 14, 15. Right at GSS, actually, I training with uh, high school teacher Lance Denson. And then uh, myself and a group of friends started going to Kingston Youth Boxing Club, where I went uh, and trained off and on for 
or move said, wow. And so you, you do all this training and you obviously want to fight that part of boxing. Tell me about that first fight, what it was like to get uh, into the ring with her. Uh, so my first fight was against a guy named Neil Jasmine and I just completely blacked out. I just remember going toe to toe. I actually lost the fight by one point, but it motivated me to uh, get back to training and, and get in there again. Okay, so you talk about the formation. Is there a couple of fights that stand out? Some boxes and some cool stuff. Tell me a couple of memories you have. But uh, I'd say definitely my favorite fights were the ones that I had at home. Uh, just because of the atmosphere and the ring. And uh, also fighting at Nashville is one of my, one of my top fights. And uh, I fought a guy from the team Brazil, so I'd say those are probably the highlights. Right on, and so I know that you've taken some time off from fighting, you got married, congratulations on that fight, when it happens. Uh, but you're still playing, and that's kind of cool. Uh, do you have any plans to get back in the ring? And if so, when are you going to play in? Uh, right now, I have no plans. I'm just uh, training to stay in and try to pass along my knowledge and help other people stay fit and show them, uh, teach them the talk. And so, can your father, Peter, not be able to go on the tank can and hard way this year? Uh, we'll see. If I can stay focused and uh, get in the right shape, then we'll see. Right on, well, folks, listen, from his fighting spirit in and out of the ring, it's Adam Fong Peters here again, halfway to the week. Congratulations. Well, not for me, I suppose, folks. If you have an athlete deserving of Get Out of the Week, you can contact me at get, most sports get an Aqua at gmail.com. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel Most Sports Get an Aqua to make sure you get all these podcasts. And so until my next podcast, if you're on the sport train, in the bleachers, or at hashtag Most Sports Get an Aqua, you better be there or be square. <laughs>